I'm excited to be uh, talking to you today by way of this video. I'm going to uh, walk you through the installation of one of the most popular builds, Cody builds, out at this time. This build is the Jayhawk build, and not only is it going to get you access to all of the add-ons that you currently enjoy, but it's going to present a lot of new add-ons to you. And the user interface is easy to use, and it's very quick, so it's not going to be sluggish. The other thing that I'm excited about with this Jayhawk build is that it presents live cable TV live HD cable TV to its viewers so you'll be able to watch live HD cable TV and this video I'll show you exactly how to do it so click on settings and let's begin okay once in settings you will go to the advanced tab and then click on more settings and do understand that this is uh, for Android version 6 and higher then go to the apps configuration or apps uh, option once in apps select Cody Now, do a force stop if you may have been running uh, the Kodi installation. Click OK. And then next, we need to clear the data. So whatever current Kodi uh, build you're running, then uh, clear that data because you're going to start with a new build, the Jayhawk build. Also, this is for Kodi 17. If you're running Kodi 16, uh, you're not going to have access to the live cable uh, TV uh, that's in high definition. Once you've cleared the data, then you will go to Open from within this interface. You click on Open and uh, start the Kodi application. And once again, uh, to run Kodi 17, you must be running Android 6 or higher. Once in the Kodi Home menu, you need to select the Settings widget. It's that middle option in the upper left hand corner. Now you will go and select File Manager. Once in File Manager, you'll click on add source so you can add a new source and this source will be to the Jayhawk build now you will type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Jayhawk media dot org forward slash Cody and once you've typed that then you will click OK. To get to this option though where it uh, stated none you would have clicked OK and then that would have gotten you into this interface where you could type the address to the source. Once the source is typed then click OK and then the next thing that you'll need to do is edit the name from Cody to Jayhawk. 
That'll give it a more descriptive name so you'll know what the source is pertaining to just in case you have to configure some other sources for maybe some other options or features you may want to install in your Kodi. Once you've typed Jayhawk, click OK. Then click OK again. Now you'll click the return button on your remote control twice to get back to the home screen for Cody. If you need to pause this video, do so now so you can catch up. Scroll down to add-ons and this is on the home menu for Cody 17. Once you've gotten into add-ons, then you will click on the uh, package installer option in the upper left-hand corner. Once again, if the video is going too fast for you, just pause it. Now, select install from zip file when you do that you're going to be presented with an option that requires you to enable unknown sources so click on settings and this is nothing to be concerned with uh, it's just a safety feature that they've placed in the Kodi, but um, this Jayhawk build and others like it, um, it's fine. You're going to want to install it. So click yes, that you understand the warnings. It's just stating that there's potential danger when you install unknown sources, uh, but, but you're fine. Now that you've enabled unknown sources, you will go back to install from zip file and click on install from zip file again and then select the Jayhawk source and remember you added this previously now click on plugin.program.jayhawkwizard.zip click OK and click OK on your remote control it will select it and it probably takes about a minute for the Jayhawk wizard to install so be patient once the installation has completed then you will get a option up in the upper uh, right hand corner that will indicate that the uh, Jayhawk uh, wizard has been enabled you'll see it in the upper right hand corner so just be patient And you're going to love this build. This is an awesome build. Uh, you're going to like the fact that you can get access to high definition cable TV content that's pretty reliable. Um, I will tell you that uh, Jayhawk provides, and as you see, you see the Jayhawk Media Wizard, it's appeared. And so um, now here you would just uh, either say remind me later or click on dismiss. You may have an issue being able to click on dismiss uh, initially, click build menu, and when you select build menu on this window that pops up, then a build menu will appear behind this. And then you'll be able to select dismiss, and once, once you do that, then uh, you'll be presented with the build menu option again. Just select it and you'll be able to gain access to the build menu screen 
Now choose Jayhawk 4 hyphen K17 version 2.0.2 .2 for Cody 17.1 Krypton. You don't want to select um, the option that says new Jayhawk X17 because it's not going to include the uh, the high definition cable TV and you're going to want to get access to that. Uh, do understand too that the cable TV channels they're going to be um, limited I think you get like about 70 cable TV channels the other ones they're going to be paid for and Jayhawk they offer a cable TV service package that's five dollars a month so that that's pretty uh, reasonable here you'll click on no because you do not need to do a fresh start because you've already cleared the data out of Cody so this pretty much is a clean build so just say no. But but as I was stating, so now you'll see that it'll it'll start downloading the installation file and then eventually it will start extracting the content. Uh, and then it will install it and uh, you'll be able to uh, access this uh, this application when you open up Kodi. Um, once again, uh, the Jayhawk Media Group, they actually offer uh, cable TV. They offer it at $5 a month, and they'll get you access to over 178 channels. Uh, there are other services out there, and if you visit solusconnect.com and go to our device support pages, uh, you'll be able to see um, information on other ways to get access to cable TV for free, as well as paid cable TV services that are pretty reasonable. We're talking about costs from $60 to $130 a year. So um, it's a great way to gain access to cable TV and it seems as though uh, at least a lot of our customers um, they, they would like to have access to cable TV that is presented by way of a guide. Click OK and when you click OK, it'll go back to the last location you were at when you opened uh, Cody. And of course, we were in the, the uh, application uh, window or, um, config or, or setting option. So you'll just click Open again, and it will open, and it will start up the Jayhawk. So when you open up Cody now, Instead of it saying Cody 17, it's just going to go straight into Jayhawk. It's real quick, a nice user interface, um, and you will be able to access a lot of the content, uh, all of the content that you had access to before, but plus more. And you will see up here in this uh, upper um, top uh, middle section of the screen, where it's installing shortcuts, you're going to also see where it's going to load up 178 um, IPTV uh, um, cable TV channels. And they're in high definition, so you're going to really like it. The only bad thing, and I stated it earlier, and if I had not, is that the guide unlike some of the other uh, cable TV providers out there the guide does not have uh, the programming that is currently playing listed or programming that is upcoming listed so that may disappoint some of you all but you'll still have access to this high uh, um, definition cable TV also when you go into um, the Jayhawk build wait for about 10 minutes let all of the add-ons update and you can see some of the add-ons updating if you look in the uh, top uh, middle of the screen or video you'll see that uh, there's updates that are taking place so let it finish updating and once that occurs then you can go to live TV click on TV guide so you click so you go to the live TV menu uh, section and then there's a sub menu that says TV guide 
you see it highlighted now click that don't click any of the other options if you want to get access to a guide that has live TV channels and you're gonna see uh, this guide when when um, I click on this you'll see the guide and you will see uh, me access the Cartoon Network and you'll see the quality of that Cartoon Network station and that quality is indicative of all of the other channels uh, that are available in this Jayhawk uh, um, TV guide build. Now as you see none of the time slots are pre-populated with programming so you don't know what's coming on and that's a bummer here but if you stay tuned and uh, visit solarsconnect.com over the next couple of weeks we'll be showcasing a lot of the different cable TV providers out there because we want you to understand that there is a um, there there are many options available once you have access to an Android box or a connect box there's many options available for your TV viewing pleasure this will allow you to save monies on your cable uh, uh, TV access as well as your other entertainment so this is a cartoon network and you can see the quality uh, it looks good so th this is awesome and um, this is what we want to do for you. We want to to showcase this type of uh, entertainment uh, so that way uh, you understand what's available. You know how to configure it for yourself and your family. And that then allows you to save money. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Thank you for supporting SolusConnect.com. Thank you for visiting. And uh, I, I hope that you, you enjoy your... Uh, you're, you're streaming, so keep streaming, my friends.